Hi, it's Dr. Elisha Van Dusen at New Hope Chiropractic. Again, this is part two of things that can really be detrimental if you're trying to lose weight and if you're overweight. Health issues are never something to take lightly and if you have pre-existing conditions that end up putting limits on what your body can do, never test those limits. There are plenty of low-key workouts that will keep you moving properly while minimizing the amount of stress that's put on your joints and muscles. Water exercises, for example, are really, really good way um, to exercise if you're looking for something less intense, less stressful. If you have a medical issue, be sure to clear it with your doctor before engaging in any type of exercise routine. Also, you want to avoid machines that don't work. Sometimes when overweight people go to the gym, they find themselves um, um, facing countless machines that um, are really not accommodating to their body type. Or they may be broken. So don't try to force a workout with equipment that's not really suited to you. Not only is this very inconvenient and frustrating, but it's actually really unsafe as well. You can hurt yourself more. If you find that you can't do the exercise correctly, you could end up experiencing unnecessary injuries or joint pains. So don't get discouraged though. Rather, find something that works for you, like uh, try an exercise bike, try a, an elliptical machine, a Stairmaster, or just something that's more suited to your body that works out for you, that doesn't put as much stress in your joints. Setting goals is a great idea for trying to lose weight and kick off a healthy lifestyle. Yet, if you're setting goals that are based off what other people think is best for you without looking to your own judgment or your own goals, maybe your own desires, you might find yourself failing to reach them. So you need to base your workouts on the results that you want, not what other people want for you. Your body's your own and you have every right to decide what's best for you and to um, do things that are, that are comfortable for you. While trying things you hate rarely works out well, that doesn't mean you should always take the easiest path or the path of least resistance. Reaching challenging goals is a great way for boosting your self-esteem and keeps you motivated and always pushing forward beyond your comfort zone. So try basing your goals on something that you've always wanted to do but never could because of your weight. If you like running, then say you want to run a 5K by a certain date or maybe you want to get through a full game of ba uh, baseball without getting too tired to continue or basketball or whatever. And so goals can be fun and challenging, so put your thinking cap on and find what works best for you and then set good realistic goals. And once again, um, make sure that you've gotten your spine checked chiropractically, make sure everything's balanced and everything is moving properly so you don't hurt yourself further and get the most out of your workouts and prevent your body from wearing out prematurely. And uh, to do that, you can check us out at newhopechiropractic.com. We'll be happy to uh, book an appointment for you to get, your, uh, get yourself checked. So hope this helps, and happy exercising, and have a very healthy day.